Good morning, Jadwika. Uh, yes, the morning is good, Nassim. Thank you for calling it to my attention. <laughs> I, I trust you had a pleasant evening? Very pleasant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you all did it, didn't you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, She's filth. filth. She's Balkan filth. filth. I feel sick. I can feel the acid sick rising above my throat. What are you saying? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she knows. <laughs> Look, it's not what you think. What happened between us was a moment of great passion and humiliating error, never to be repeated again. Never. never. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Because I want to make this perfectly clear. If you guys even so much as touch each other in my hotel, you're fired. <laughs> yes, it's a false <laughs> Hate spring. Mavis. What? The Republican candidate for state assembly just dropped out of the race. He's been implicated in a scandal. That's nothing. You want scandal? Do you know that Shalupa and Nassim have been bumping green cards under my roof? Mavis, please. You haven't heard the best part. What? The party wants me to run. Run for what? Sandwiches? For state assembly. Wait a minute. That means you're going to be running against Martin James. You know, that's my man. So? OK, let's really take a good look at this, OK? Martin James, 15 years experience. Courtney Ray, 15 months unemployment. Listen, I know my odds are long, but the party feels it's important to field a candidate. You'll see, Mavis. I'm planning an exciting and uplifting campaign. Oh, gosh. You know, I feel so bad. I feel like I, we should be celebrating. <laughs> Run out and get some sandwiches. Oh, boo, you're going to be a great assemblyman. Know why? Because you are of the peeps, by the peeps, and for the peeps. Hey, Rita, has anybody told you you're like a, a combination of George and Thomas Jefferson? Rita's <laughs> launching my website. You know what? I'm going to call my boy Dewan. He could hook up all the HTMLs, JavaScripts, and virtual meetups. And the best part is, he's only 13, so we could pay him in Red Bull and Skittles. <laughs> I don't see why you launching a website. I mean, to get a hold of black Republicans, just pick up the phone. I mean, how long does it take to call six people? Yo, we've got a lot of work to do. Have you seen Martin James' website? Mm -mm. He says that you could donate money, request a house sign, or learn about the carpetbagger he's running against. <gasps> oh, baby, that's you! He called me a carpetbagger? What a horrible thing to call someone. That's what Hillary Clinton is. <laughs> Listen, you have to develop a thick skin. I mean, they haven't even called you a tax cheater, a liar, or a goat molester yet. I was eight years old, and I was at the petting zoo, and it pinned me against the fence. You're the one who dressed me in shorts and put the sandwich in my pocket. I said I was sorry. It gets worse. Last-minute candidate, Courtney Ray, as unknown as he is underqualified. Gosh. Thick skin, thick skin. Though technically, he's correct. <laughs> List his legal residence as a seedy hotel. Seedy hotel? Although, technically, he's right. <laughs> Where does that too-big hat politician get off calling my hotel seedy? Now, who's thin-skinned it? In? <laughs> Shut up. Look, you can't let him do this, okay? You need to respond. It's time to take the gloves off, Boo Bear. That's right. Martin James doesn't know who he's messing with. Well, I think that's kind of the point. Nobody does. Well, he will after I challenge him to a series of debates and get buttons. Oh, well, you'd be really good at that. You get the buttons, I'll go talk to Marty James. <laughs> no, no, please don't. It's my reputation. It's my fight. I'm gonna fire off my response right now. And we could flame him on his own blog. Rita, your tech talk sends a shudder through my loins. That's the same thing he said to the goat. <laughs> Me 
Davis says you need help hanging a picture, or at least that's the excuse you gave. Yes, this was put up incorrectly, probably by some ignorant tent dweller who wasn't accustomed to hard walls. <laughs> Strange, usually inferior craftsmanship is the mark of glass-eyed Balkan serfs. <laughs> Shall I lift? Mm. Uh, hold it there. May I say, uh, your skin is much softer than the average inbred gypsy. Thank you. Your forearm is more muscular than I imagined. Must be from lifting the fork to your mouth. Do you mind if I... Uh... Not at all, please. Pass by. <laughs> Read nothing into this. But it does feel good to work with a man of substantial girth. <laughs> American men are such undernourished boobs. You said boobs. So did you. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for the call. No problem. I have your seedy hotel on speed dial. <laughs> Assemblyman. Hey, Mavis. How are you? I'm pissed. Uh-huh. Uh, could you uh, give us some air? Leave the bacon. <laughs> what are you pissed about this time, Mavis? You said some ugly things about my hotel. You know, I didn't like the tone of it. Um. I'm lost. On your website? You call my hotel seedy. Now, I don't mind if you call my brother inexperienced, but you cannot talk about my hotel like that. See, that was my staff, you know what I mean? I told them we want to keep a very clean campaign because, you know, we both know that um, I'm going to win. Well, that's what I told my brother. I will have the page pulled. I, I promise. You promise? I promise. All right. So how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. How about you? I'm good. You look good. So do you. Speaking of which, yeah. I've been meaning to invite you to, you know, a couple of fundraisers. You want to invite me back to one of your fundraisers even after what happened last time? Especially after what happened last time. Because <laughs> uh, we had nothing but fun. Yes, that's true. And we even managed to raise some uh, money. Yeah. <laughs> which you're using to run against my brother with. Not a lot of it, no. <laughs> Listen, do me a favor, okay? Don't call my brother a carpetbagger anymore, please. He's lived here all of his life, except for, you know, several years in Houston. Houston? Yeah, child, he worked for Enron before the cock I hit the fan. Enron, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, child lost everything, everything. Yeah, well, so many people did. Yeah, not me, though. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I got out while the get was good. How fortunate. Yes, it was very fortunate. I was so happy I celebrated, child, I didn't have one drink. Why? Because I wanted to feel something. <laughs> you know? Listen, you know what? I'm going to get my staff on this website thing right now. You are? I promise. All right, so you going to call me? Absolutely. Really? I do. My, I got your number right here by my See, heart. Look at you lying. To me. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take it easy, baby. So, which one of you, you know, did the website thing on Courtney Ray? Yeah, well, get rid of it. Because I have something much better. It turns out that he, uh, he, he worked for Enron, and uh, his sister made a lot of money. What the hell is going on in here? Hey, put that down. I paid for most of this stuff. Mavis, it's no use. These are federal agents, and they have a warrant. What? They're upstairs searching Courtney's room right now. Can you believe it? The one day I didn't make my bed. <laughs> well, what the hell are they looking for? Evidence that you and I conspired to commit insider trading while I was at Enron. Son of a gun. You know what? Y'all is like Martha Stewart, except nobody cares. Why is this happening? Why now? Why us? Those are all really good questions. <laughs> Wait a minute. You talked to Martin James. Mavis, I told you to stay away from him. But she didn't. Why would you do that? Are you trying to sabotage my campaign? Oh, yeah. 
I'm trying to sabotage your campaign by getting myself indicted. Courtney, as your campaign manager, I advise that you get this under control. I have nothing to worry about. I was too far down the ladder at Enron to be implicated in any scandal. For heaven's sake, they told me my documents weren't even worth shredding. And that shows you how dumb that company is. They weren't smart enough to blame it on the brother. True that. I think you might want to see what's going on outside. Oh, what now? Damn it. All right, everybody set? All right, here we go. Now, I, I brought you to Courtney Ray's doorstep to illustrate that I am not afraid to keep this campaign about the issues. Now, whether or not my opponent and his family profited from shady dealings with 